The Scott Joplin International Ragtime Festival draws a big crowd in Sedalia, Missouri each year. Some of the most talented ragtime musicians from around the world perform at the annual event. Joplin lived in Sedalia at the height of his career in the turn of the 20th century. Ragtime music swept the nation in the early 1900s and remained popular for about 20 years until the first jazz records were released. It was composed for and performed by every conceivable kind of musical performer, military brass bands, banjo soloists, theater orchestras, and mostly for singers. It was the ragtime songs, not the piano solos, that were the most popular and most prevalent form of ragtime. While ragtime nearly disappeared from the landscape of American music, it had a big resurgence when the movie The Sting was released in 1973. The next year, the first festival honoring Scott Joplin was held in Sedalia. Scott Joplin had moved here uh, in the mid-1890s and started writing, and I guess he'd already been a little uh, prolific in some of his writing, but he started writing his most prominent ragtime pieces when he was here in Sedalia. He played down at several different clubs. One was the Maple Leaf Club. It was, a, uh, it was an African-American or a black club only. It was down by the railroad tracks. They weren't allowed to play anywhere else at the time. In 1899, Joplin teamed up with publisher John Stark to release his most famous piece, Maple Leaf Rag. It's the earliest piece of instrumental music to sell one million copies in the United States. Sedalia is clearly proud of its ties to Joplin. The four-day festival draws several thousand people to town to hear nearly 50 different performers. Even those unfamiliar with ragtime can enjoy the lively, upbeat music. Even with some younger people, this music has um, a really buoyant energy to it, and so it can even be interesting for young people who've never heard it because it's fun to watch, it's, it's, um, it's, you can dance to it, it's, it's just uh, got a lot going for it. Scott Joplin died in 1917, at the same time that Ragtime's popularity began fading. But it's obvious from the festival that Ragtime still has plenty of fans. The biggest tribute to Joplin is that his music continues to be played and enjoyed by people of all ages. You can see the full version of this segment and much more in this edition of Sentimental Reflections. Join us on our video journeys each season as Sentimental Reflections presents America's heritage in story, scenery, and song. 